Hello and welcome to my creative space. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Welcome to another DIY video. If you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe and join this creative squad. For today's video, I am back with another thrift flip video. Yes, it's a challenge and I'll tell you more about it. So let's get started. For my first flip, I'm using this bottle I picked up. I want to say it was like $1.90 something. And I am going to be giving this bottle a couple of coats of this acrylic paint. I picked it up from Hobby Lobby. And the reason why I did it is because it was on sale. And I was like, this is perfect to use for this project. Because I want this to look shiny still. So, And it's supposed to be uh, like a glossy acrylic paint so i'm gonna use that and give it a couple of coats once it's dry i'm going to take this crafting paper from hobby lobby as well when they have sales i usually pick up different craft papers and this one i picked it up when it was 50 percent off 50 or 40 percent off and i thought it was really cool because i looked up on pinterest for some inspiration and i saw these bottles and i was like i need to recreate them and i have the perfect items to do that so when i saw this bottle i was like i'm taking this bottle anyway i'm gonna use some mud podge once i cut it to the size i needed i use some mud some mud podge sorry and i'm going to be gluing it onto it now as you can see the paper was not long enough so i have to cut an extra little piece do the exact same thing mud podge it to the bottle and i'm just gonna do that and i do that little piece is gonna go under the bigger piece that way it's covered up that's gonna be the back so it doesn't bother me so yeah there's that now that that is done i'm going to be taking some um, chalk paint it's waverly i don't remember the color i want to say it's truffle but i could be wrong but i'll link it in the description box and i'm gonna take this uh dish sponge and i'm going to stamp it on there and there's not a technique i just do it and i just keep stamping it until it's the way i like it now i switch to a lighter ivory folk art paint as well and just to give it dimension and i just go back and forth from the brown color and the lighter ivory color and i just keep stamping it i try to get a little bit on the paper that way it looks like it's vintage for real and it's um you know meant to be there and that is technically all I did for this bottle. Now let's look at what it used to look like. And here is the end result. I am in love how this bottle turned out. Exactly what I wanted. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hey there creative squad, today is Thrift Flip Thursday and this is a challenge hosted by Shayna from Robinson Repurposing, Savannah from Savvy Crafts with Savannah and this month's co-host is Amber from Amber XO DIYs. This is a $10 challenge, you have a $10 budget to spend on thrifted items that you get to flip. Each month they pick a winner and they get to co-host the following month and I love participating in it, I am always up for a challenge so be sure to check out this their links in my description box as well as the playlist and now let's get back into thrift flipping for my next flip i'm going to be using this sign that cost me three dollars and 93 cents and i like it but i'm gonna make it better i'm gonna remove this heart and then i'll take it outside and send it down once it's send it down i am going to stain it with this uh brown stain i don't remember the color it will be in my description box but once i am done staining this whole piece i will let it dry once it's dry i am going to dry brush some ivory chalk paint from Waverly and I'm going to be distressing it with it I absolutely love how this piece turns out it's probably one of my favorites but um anyway so yeah I'm just going to keep distressing and at first I was just going to do the edges and then I decided to go all in and I am happy that I did it because I absolutely love how this piece turns out okay i end up finding these really cute pots at the thrift store and i think it was amazing that i did because they are galvanized and they go perfect with farmhouse decor but i okay so i was going to use them the way they were but then they kind of got lost on the sign so i decided to distress them a little bit i distressed the top edge and bottom edge and then the little handle and um i absolutely think they make a difference and this is what they they look like i use a dish punch to uh distress the top and bottom edge 
okay so i added the little planters onto the sign and i printed on uh my cricket machine or cut on my cricket machine some words uh for this uh sign and i wanted it to say love grows here because it's going to have plants or you know uh greenery in it and i thought it was a clever idea maybe it's just me but let me know what you think <laughs> okay i had a little bit of trouble with this vinyl i don't know if it was the vinyl or if it was the paint or what it was i let this sign dry for a whole day and when i came back to put the words on it it was still not wanting to work so i had to go like one by one letter to make them stick but it ends up working out now let's remember what this used to look like and here is the end result i absolutely love how this turned out one of my favorites for sure let me know what you think in the comments down below for my last flip i found this a really cute tray now i feel like trays you cannot do very much with them maybe my imagination is not great but i decided to paint this white and this is going to be a very easy flip and um so i went to the thrift store like two times to try to find items because my thrift flip store or the closest one to me doesn't have a very good item so i had to go in there a few times to try to find something and the second time i was like well i'm gonna take what i find and work with it so that's what we did with this okay for the inside i decided that i was going to use a crafting paper and i had this wood grain looking paper and i thought it was great for this and i felt like it went very well with this color white and um i could have painted but i was like you know what let me just use the paper because i really wanted it to look a little bit different than you know just white but anyway um i grabbed my paper kind of just measure it there once i um cut it down i am going to be using mod podge to glue this down um i don't know if hot glue would work because sometimes you get those little bumps but you know i had mod podge and i know mod podge can be tricky i uh will tell you what i ran into what problems i ran into with this but anyway i just used mod podge glue it down here is what it's looking like okay using my cricket machine i cut these words on vinyl gathered together this piece will go in my gallery kitchen wall that i have going on so i thought it was a perfect addition for that because it's a small tray so you cannot do very much with it but anyway so once i apply my first word i guess i don't learn my lesson and i don't listen to y'all because i was told in the future you know mod podge your sign and then add the vinyl and you won't have that pulling away uh part of it you know some of the paper rip uh, when I pulled the transfer paper and I guess I don't learn my lesson so I'm so sorry I promise you I'm gonna try best but I honestly forgot it wasn't until that happened that I was like oh god I forgot and I skipped a step but anyway so here is what it's looking like I also printed little leaves on uh, vinyl and I think this sign is super cute here is what this tray used to look like and here is the end result I had so much fun thrift flipping these items my favorites for sure were the first and second and if i had to pick one the second one let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite thrift flip today don't forget to subscribe and join my creative squad give my video a thumbs up and i will see you on my next diy bye